So again, thank you everyone for coming. So let's talk about uh, training and certifications. So why get trained? That, and along that line, what are the benefits to the managers and the employee? Uh, why I feel that CATI is one of the best when it comes to training. And then finally, we'll talk about the Celebrex certifications. Okay, so first up, why, why get trained in the first place? So company or yourself, you buy software. So option one is just try to pick it up as you go. Option two is to actually uh, get trained. So what are those benefits? So training is a simple matter of return on investment. So a person who's trained, you or her folks that work for you, will be more productive, valuable, and definitely more motivated in the short and that long term. So if someone feels that they're being invested in, you're going to see those again, those gains in the short term and just be happier in general. So the big question is, how long does a manager or a company wait for an employee to become proficient inside SOLIDWORKS? So there's definitely many examples of highly skilled, self-taught SOLIDWORKS users. Uh, but these folks tend to take a while to get to where they are and their focus is in that narrow band of skill set of I do a job and it's, it's A to Z. So sometimes, or a lot of times, they again, they're experts in that category, but you jump outside that, not so much. So companies shouldn't be waiting around and hoping that the money that they saved initially in training is going to override that long-term detriment of slow productivity. So Salibrix is a CAD, uh, high-end CAD software. It definitely deserves to have professional level instruction to ensure a faster push to proficiency. Now, uh, what does that entail? So we can get to that faster push to proficiency in many different ways. Okay, so first, let's take a look at what are the benefits to a manager and or a company when it comes to getting trained. Okay, so number one, your first benefit is going to be productivity. Training up front is going to allow for a faster and better job performance right out of the uh, right out of the gate. So get those ideas out of your head and into the CAD system without fighting it. You know, where's the extrude command? Where is this command to do X, Y, and Z? So by cranking up that confidence and using your software, that's only going to benefit not only the employee because they can work faster, they feel more confident, but the return on investment again for that employee. So employees who stay up to date with changing industry and software changes, new features, new um, or different areas to expand in, is gonna help you as a company be a leader and more of a strong competitor in your industry. So your second benefit here is gonna be role flexibility. So training can be done in, in really kind of two different ways if you think about it. So upskill and multi-skill those folks. So upskilling involves taking basic knowledge of a particular topic and expanding it. So an example of that might be basic assembly work, uh, putting these parts together versus say advanced assembly methods like top down where I create one item and other things change and move and modify based off of that particular part. So your updates and changes can go faster. So that's just one example of the many things of upskilling. Okay, multi-skilling is moving outside of that particular area. So a whole new area that that person is not experienced in. So for example, you create weldments, right? Metal structures of some kind. So teaching them structural simulation from the software point of view is gonna provide that better quality design. Maybe it's, optimizing for weight, maybe it's optimizing overall size, things along that line that kind of outside that initial skill set. So employees with that diverse skill set can definitely perform a variety of tasks and definitely transition into other roles or more higher end roles within that organization because they get experience more across the board when in, in engineering and design. So that third benefit there is reduced turnover. Staff are more likely to feel valued if you invest in them. So taking a break to learn new skills can help your employees be a little more creative, think outside that box and just provide more tools in that for a real tool belt. So training and development will help your company to be more productive and make happier employees. Okay, so next let's talk about employee or benefits to the employee. Okay. So number one, strengthen your skill sets. 
SolidWorks is just a massive software relating to all the things that it can do. Again, we know from basic SolidWorks surfacing, simulation, uh, sheet metal, right? Uh, you just all sorts of things that you do want, you know, you know, you might use one little bit of that particular software versus what it can do is a whole lot. So training is definitely going to let you improve those holes in your games. Again, if you're kind of a self-taught or you took a basic class and you delved into, say, for instance, weld mitts, taking a class in it and or looking at where your weakest links are are definitely going to uh, to help you out in the long run. Again, be more productive. So that term, only as strong as your weakest link, weakest link definitely applies. So say there are 10 of you in a group. Okay, or multiples in a group, you're definitely going to find that there are different levels of SOLIDWORKS knowledge. So get all of your individuals on the team to a similar knowledge of training, and so you can have maximum collaboration and efficiency. Again, it's not dependent on a few people to do more advanced things. Anybody can potentially do it. Your second benefit is definitely to increase your workplace value and your career flexibility. So SOLIDWORKS from the, the 3D perspective has a huge user base across the board. Okay? There's really few limits to what it can design given everything that can plug into the base software. So if you leverage this training knowledge to your career within your company, okay, um, you can move it to that next level. So you're gonna demonstrate this with new skills, methods, or learning new tools within the software. So within definitely your own company, huge, huge help to be able to take on more responsibility and or items that you never thought that that potential company could do with the software. Finally here, your certified SOLIDWORKS tests. Okay, and we're going to get to that here in a few slides, but SOLIDWORKS certifications are recognized worldwide. So earning SOLIDWORKS certifications can help you get a job, keep a job, or move up within your current job by uh, demonstrating the solid skill sets that you're going to learn. So internally, uh, me personally, I've been finding more and more companies are looking to use certifications as stepping stones of knowledge for career advancement, as well as actually entry into uh, the company. So a while back, again, I'm kind of dating myself a bit, but you go back a few years and you might have somebody that says, hey, I'm really good in this other CAD system. I can jump into SOLIDWORKS and go right away. What you find is each of these CAD systems um, at a base level might be similar, but the way in which they go about it, where's the buttons, things like that, um, they didn't know, right? They didn't catch on. So now those companies are using this to go, hey, you've got your base certification. That tells me that you can go for this level of knowledge. You can go really quick. Um, so those certifications, as we're going to see, are across pretty much all aspects of core and advanced functionality inside SOLIDWORKS. And so again, we're going to get to that certified SOLIDWORKS and talk about those tasks really kind of at the second half of this presentation uh, in just a little bit. But first, I want to talk about uh, why CATI. And so just to start with, again, a bit, a bit of background on my end, I've been doing training in the CAD world for 13, almost a little over 13 years now. So I started out as being an instructor and then moved into managing multiple instructors with it. So I've got a lot of experience in the grand scheme of things. Um, and one thing is for sure, and, and I'm gonna say it over and over, everybody learns slightly different. So because of that, we have different ways that we can teach you. Right? So why us? So first off, your company has just made an investment in the SOLIDWORKS software and you want to be the most productive that you can be in the software. And you also want to be able to explore areas of the software that you can expand your, your business. Okay, so don't settle, okay, push, and or if you're management, I highly suggest it, if you're an employee, push for that training, okay? So you can be the best that you can be. Now, how do we go about getting this training? So as Josh mentioned, flexibility in that scheduling. We can do online, we can do in-house at our facilities, or we can do on-site at yours. Okay, so everybody learns differently. So even though, thank you, COVID has, has pushed it in one particular direction, 
now that things are opening back up again, we're free to expand and really do it any one of those three particular ways. Now that online in-house and our on-site can be done with stock classes. But again, as Josh again pointed out, we can do that with custom training. So first off, so everyone learns different. So we can, uh, we can accommodate all those different ways to help you learn. So as you progress into those higher, most, more complicated classes, uh, the application engineers with the pertinent backgrounds are picked for the job. So for instance, our simulation instructors, most of those folks have lived that life somewhere else. And the cool thing is a huge variety of background from magnetics to structural to flow, really, really cool. That's where my, in particular, my master's degree is computer aided engineering. So I have a special place in my heart for that. And we have a huge, for instance, in this case, simulation uh, background across the board. Okay, next thing that we bring to the table is tips and tricks. And this isn't just one particular class. This is every class. So book knowledge is important. And this is why we don't just sell books. And everyone can look at a book, follow the instructions to it. The book knowledge, again, is important. But what we bring to that game is all the tidbits of use that come with it. Right. So your best practices, those golden nuggets that help you learn to use the software better. So, again, everything from your basics all the way up to your high end. This is years of support and just, again, using the software. So, again, in my case, 13 years of training, but I've been using SOLIDWORKS since 2004. So uh, quite a while of use. So next, custom training. This can be done in a variety of ways, and we really kind of uh, put, put this in really custom training and mentoring. So custom training is taking, for instance, you've taken an essentials class. Now I need a couple chapters out of advanced part, a couple chapters out of surfacing, and a couple chapters out of weldments. We can put that together for you to have a custom, uh, custom class just for you, okay? There might be things that's lightly covered or not covered in a book very well, like costing, that we need to do something with mentoring. So mentoring is that aspect of I'm working with your data or I'm working with you specifically in your particular examples of how you use the software in order to teach you how to do and tell you exactly in order to get from A to Z, this is how you do it. All right, so from simple topics up to very, very complex. We've got it across the board um, for whatever, again, whatever you need. Okay, next one. What happens if I don't have a SOLIDWORKS license yet? This could be, I'm a new customer. I don't have any SOLIDWORKS seats yet. This could be, uh, I'm converting from a different CAD system and I don't have my licenses set up on my machines yet. Okay, no problem. So we have a system called CATI Live that's going to allow you to take those training classes, at least online. In-house, you're going to have your, uh, your um, computer provided to you. But those training classes, you can work on those exercises with our virtual computers uh, during any time during that training, co uh, training course. Excuse me. Okay, so uh, again, waiting on those licenses, no problem. When you're taking, you know, you don't have to wait to get them to start your training. Start that up ahead of time. So during that time frame, we have that system used. So if you have any kind of decent uh, browser uh, or internet speed, you can use that system. Okay. So the frequency of our classes are hard to rival. So once again, our starting with our online, th again, thank you, COVID. COVID really pushed it in a direction, and, and we really kind of ran this already in this much, uh, the, the schedule, but all the core classes are at least offered once a month. Sometimes we're having our basic class offered four, three to four times a month. So you can much more guaranteed, hey, I bought the software, I need to get training ASAP. Okay, with the online, we can definitely get you there faster. Okay, so even through COVID, we did offer in-house classes as states allowed. Okay, um, and as people are more confident or companies are letting the folks come to our in-house classes, uh, we're highly encouraging that if that is the way that you'd like to, to go. So we've gone as far as reducing our headcount requirements of in-person classes just to make sure we can kind of get that ball rolling. Again, 
Everybody learns differently, so we want to make sure we accommodate that. So if you don't see a class in a location or online, give us a call okay, and we can work it out with you to get it scheduled. Okay. Next, our online classes are never canceled, okay, purely to do to low student count. So we're conscious of your work schedule. We realize that you take time, you know, taking time away from work is, is hard to do sometimes, especially that everybody's kind of getting going again. So know that your schedule with an online class, it's never, ever going to get canceled. And again, with COVID, our in-house classes, we've reduced that minimum uh, headcount down to two to make sure that we can, as much as we can, still have those in-house classes. And that, uh, what's really cool is that number is really starting to come up so we can take care in, in doing that. So there's definitely pros and cons um, that many people feel of a in-house versus an online. I would, you know, if you're interested in, in kind of talking to me about that, please go ahead and get a hold of me. I'd love to talk to you again. What, what are the differences between the two? And in the grand scheme of things, I really feel uh, depending on your schedule and what you need, we can kind of match what you need to that. Okay. So honestly, we care. The all the instructors that work for me directly, we want you to be good SolidWorks users at heart. In, in my family, you're either in the medical field or you're teachers. And that's totally me with with being a teacher. I want you to be the best. OK, and I want you to use that software in ways that you never thought or imagined you could. I want you to be able to go back to your company and go, hey, we do this now. Look at it, how we could do this or look at how we could expand it here. And so that's the, again, part of that training of showing you tidbits of other areas of the software that you just may have never been exposed to. Okay, so sitting in that training, especially sometimes with other companies, either in-house or online, again, can help you get that imagination to push that envelope. Okay. Next, let's talk about SOLIDWORKS certifications. Okay, so this one, again, this is what I would consider half the reason why potentially many people have come. So what, what are SOLIDWORKS certifications? So SOLIDWORKS established this long time ago as an industry standard worldwide that professionals are evaluated through a fair test of your knowledge of SOLIDWORKS in areas of mechanical design and uh, design validation. And we're kind of, we'll get a little bit more into that. Okay, so becoming certified establishes you as a competent solid professional. It's kind of a broad statement, but professional in what? And we're going to see that here. So as I mentioned before, hiring managers can be confident in a decision to hire, uh, potentially if you're looking for somewhere to, uh, to get hired and or helping your team take the next steps of going, hey, I can use software. This is the level of software I'm at and then take something more advanced. So let's kind of take a look at each of those particular exams. So here we see the levels associate, professional, advanced professional, expert, and finally, 3D experience exams. So this way back in the day, this was a few exams. Now there's a ton. And basically, remember how I said it went from core to more advanced topics. So let's take a look at that. So to start with your SOLIDWORKS associate exams, I would describe these particular exams as one of two things. Either A, if you're in a college setting, you're going to look at like the mechanical design, the CSWA, Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate, okay, mechanical design. As like, uh, in my case, I used it as a final exam for one of the classes, okay? So they have other ones depending on it, again, if you're at a college or as a prereq for more advanced exams. So for instance, when you want to look at the CSWA Simulation, that's a prereq for an exam that we're going to look at later. So you take that. So it kind of steps you up. So what do these levels do? So for instance, let's talk CSWA versus the next one here is the CSWP, Certified SOLIDWORKS Professional versus an Associate. Right. So at the core, what most people that I see, you know, that I talk to that start with that are taking these exams, the CSWA mechanical versus the CSWP mechanical. 
The CSWP mechanical, the higher end one, basically has similar modeling, but it has more modeling to do in a shorter amount of time. Okay, so you have to be faster. You have to know more tips and tricks in order to, uh, to be confident, to be able to get through the material in that. Now, there's a host of other SOLIDWORKS professional, okay, API, CAM, SIM, okay, to get you along, again, to kind of move you up the chain of what is your knowledge in a particular area. And okay, so once again, the A's either from a school standpoint or B as a starter uh, exam to help you in the professional and later. All right, now let's look beyond the professional here at the advanced professional. So rewind five, five years, five, eight years here, and your big boy in the grand scheme of things was the one we're gonna talk about next, which is the CSWE, the Certified SOLIDWORKS Expert. Um, to take the expert exam or the next level to this, you need to take four of these five exams in order to finish it. Now, one thing I wanna mention and interject in here, if your company is on subscription, you do have access to free versions of getting um, basically tokens in order to take a couple of the tests. Once again, I don't have that um, here, but again, if you kind of look at that, either the SOLIDWORKS website or get a hold of me, I can point you in the right direction because it's kind of a rabbit hole that once you start talking about, um, you know, how do I take advantage of subscription and things like that, it's, it's actually a lot of information, more than what we have time here. But if you are interested in that, please let me know. So again, in order to take that certified SOLIDWORKS expert exam, we need four of these five. Now, these particular exams, all of these, the material that are in these particular exams are all based out of what is inside a book that you learn. So if you take, go to here, the Weldments class, when you go to take the Weldments exam, you will have, if you are confident and able to do all the exercises and you're confident with everything in that book, you will be able to pass the Weldments exam. Okay. Okay, so next, let's talk about the, the big one, okay, your CSWE okay, uh, mechanical and your CSWE simulation. So as I mentioned, the CSWE, you have to have passed the CSWP exam, as well as four of those advanced topics that I just told you there. So there's quite a bit of testing to get through it. So for instance, in our world, in, in the reseller world, this is the, the first main goal of when folks come on, if they're not certified, we push them into initially this category to get their CSWE. So that's part of their training that they work through to get to um, that minimum level. Um, now the simulation exam here, this one's a little bit different. So if you live in that particular world, you do need that certified SOLIDWORKS professional uh, exam, but this is where I talked about that CSWA simulation. So let me go back here, right? So it starts with that associate. We need to do that to get to a certain level. What's really cool about it, it's, it's literally going back to school. And there's some hand calculations that you're doing along with using the software. So it's very comprehensive at the end of the day, uh, working your way through that. Um, and then you take your CSWP simulation in order to do that. So you're working your way through those levels in order to come to something to where I really know a lot about this particular software. And what's, again, what's cool about these is there are things in these tests that aren't in those previous tests. Okay? And to kind of go along with that, we do have custom classes that we've made to help you move along if this is something that you're interested in with your certification pass to help you. So we have a class specifically to help you along with your CSWP. We have classes now if you want to look at these, sheet metal, weldments, surfacing, in order to help you to directly understand what do I need to know in that book to make sure that I know that skill set for when I take that test. So while you're, uh, again, I highly find, highly find, I find that it is a highly sought after skill. 
again, internally in companies, definitely growing. Externally, moving around, definitely as well to say, hey, I'm certified in this particular product. And again, I, I like the fact that it, it is worldwide. But it tells me, you know, when I'm, you know, if I'm going to start a company and I'm looking for SolidWorks users that know, I can look at the certification uh, levels and go, well, where are you at? And I can understand given the description and or if you come and ask us, what do I know at this particular point with this level of exam? We could definitely help you uh, to get there or understand from an employee perspective uh, where that's at. Yeah, one other uh, thing to point out with those certifications as well is all those certifications that you achieve do get listed in um, the SOLIDWORKS online uh, directory as well. So you can look by state, by country, and, uh, and see who is certified in your area and what certifications and even when they got those certifications, which is really cool. So very nice. So from a company perspective, the other thing that you can do is kind of uh, hunt that out in your particular area. So you can almost use it as kind of a management system to help you, again, if you want to transition employees or use that as part of that advancement system, uh, we can, you know, it can do that for you and, and we can help you with that. 